Mozambique's Gile National Reserve is slowly dying. Its 2,800 square kilometers of biodiversity are being put at risk by illegal logging, but mainly the age-old use of slash-and-burn agriculture, a farming method which local populations living in the buffer zone of the reserve depend on to create new fields. To fight this ecologically destructive method of farming, a French NGO is training farmers to increase soil fertility through more sustainable agricultural practices. Our goal is to make sure farmers cultivate the same field for as long as possible. Here, for example, the same farmer has cultivated the same field for four years. But slash and burn farming isn't the only threat to the forest of Miombo. The production of coal is eating away at the forest, while also spitting out CO2 emissions, harmful to the environment. Here, coal men are learning to create new ovens that use less trees, but produce more high-quality coal. Thanks to this new technique, we can produce up to six or seven sacks of coal each time, whereas before we would only manage to produce two or three. The Gilet National Reserve now wants to commercialise its efforts to fight deforestation by marketing carbon credits. The scheme allows CO2 emitters to buy credits in order to reduce their emissions, while supporting environmental projects in developing countries. We've managed to reduce the annual deforestation rate in the buffer zone of the reserve. That is, greenhouse gas emissions have been avoided thanks to the alternatives put in place. These efforts have reduced emissions by about 300,000 tonnes of carbon in five years. Each non-emitted tonne of CO2 equals one carbon credit, the sale of which is expected to generate between two and three million dollars that could help finance the preservation of the forest and more sustainable developments.